what's up guys it's the mobile Asian gamer here and this is the third video in the road to the hall of fame series so um while uh while you were gone i have just been uh i sold the smash uh silver collectible and i went from 10k to 25k and now i it's 1031 as you can see and at 1032 the round's gonna drop so briefly what i'm planning on doing is once you reach 25k okay so uh once you reach 25k this is kind of a risky strategy but you want to do gold players for 2500 and it's the same thought process as silver players you're gonna buy these gold players and then put them in a set and uh oh here we go so the round just dropped and we want to go quick so 2000 let's go and so yeah you're gonna want to definitely scroll it's so it's so competitive on this thing all right so there you go so you're gonna put these gold players in the set now we're hoping that we can elite trophy if we get an elite trophy money's already made back if we get five or six gold trophies so here it goes come on so yeah gold, gold. come on give me that red all right so we didn't pull any reds one two three four looks like we're gonna have enough for five gold trophies i think we uh i don't even know if we broke even all right so that was a poor example because normally you pull an elite trophy but that time i didn't it's crazy all right so we'll sell those so that gold uh that gold little run that's kind of like a high risk high reward thing because as you can see it's high risk if you don't pull an elite trophy then you're pretty much done but it's a high reward because if you do pull an elite trophy elite trophies are like 25k oh oh yeah that's right that's right that's right my bad. Once you sell, once you get five gold trophies, do not put, do not just put them up, because each gold trophy is gonna sell for about 4k after auction prices. So that's gonna be 20k for five of them. An elite trophy will sell for 25k if you wait. So that's gonna be like 22k. So it's it is smarter to just put up an elite trophy instead of five gold trophies. So do know that. You, so yeah. You definitely always want to upgrade unless you have five bronzes, in which case it might be better to just sell those bronzes individually. So, $24,999, $24,998, I'm pretty sure that's the going price for early trophies. But anyways, so, that's what's been happening pretty much. Yeah, I've just been, a uh, good strategy again is you're gonna wanna, whenever that play up, player up event comes out, grind out that live event let's see any other starting tips for you guys that i might have um not really at the moment i wouldn't worry about finding a league yet especially at, when you're starting off Ooh, maybe we should create our own league okay yeah i might create my own league because yeah i think you need like five oh it's 20k now you still only need 5k so no nah, I, I don't think we'll create our own league i think we'll just join one uh, yeah, so, I think we'll start head-to-head -head now. So, head-to-head -head works, basically, you play one of these people, and when you play this person, you get coins, fans, and XP. Coins and XP are already given. You get those with every live event, I guess. But, the fans are what you want. Uh, so, right now, we're at rookie three. And we need to get about, I think it's 2,000 fans to get the rookie two. And the goal of the series is to get all the way to Hall of Fame. So I think I'll start with head to heads. That way I can tell you some strategy. So, head to head. What should you do? First, if in general you're not going to want to choose a team with high offense, low defense. Because while you think you might score, there's always the chance of like counters, like people have their game plan set up, as well as. You know, it's just not worth it. So, you always want to find the lowest offense you can. So, the lowest offense right now is 57. Which is okay, because I think that's, like, the starting offense. But, so then, of course, then after you find the lowest offense, then you find the lowest defense. That's my little tip, because it really, you really want to be able to play against a weak offense. Because, at the end of the day, you're just going to, um, whether it's, a, like, a 57 or like a 60 defense I you're gonna end up having the same probability of scoring against both of them like it's not really a drastic difference but um, it's a it's a big difference between 
like a 57 and a 58 offense just because there's different players so so we're gonna play this guy batman 243 and i'll kind of walk you through what sort of plays i do and what situations i will play a couple of these games hopefully our elite trophy sells so then we can do the uh just like the silver sniping on camera again but so anyways this is um kind of like a walk through headset so kick off and then obviously return it this is a good return he kicked it really short and we got across the 25 all right so my bread and butter play personally is strong h1 hp blast just because i'll show you why all right we don't need all that you can either go in the gap or you can bounce it out to the outside and if you have a fast, uh, fast running back, like, my starting running back was Kenyon Drake. Like, I'm already gone. That's how easy it is. Because Kenyon Drake's just a beast. So there you go. I just scored a 80-yard touchdown. It's going to unlock some achievements. And as you can see, that's what I mean by counter. As you can see, it says counter chance. I ran that play two times in a row. And so by their game plan, it's going to be countered. And see how it was countered? The first time, I could have just ran... But then now it's like, you know, I just got screwed on that one. So you definitely don't want to run that at the same time. So I obviously did that to show you that reason. But anyways, that's that's kind of like my brain. Burner. Yeah, we already advanced. That's how. And we get this decision rusher. This goes in the Gronk set. So we're going to pick another guy. Let's pick this 57 Cool Cat from Dallas. Nice. I'm playing as the Cowboys too, so that's cool. All right, so he's about to kick off, and here we go. And let's see, um, I'll, I'll try to sh hopefully let him score on the first play, so that way I can show you a few more plays. Another bread and butter play, if you don't like HP1 Blast, or the, whatever this is called, run HP Blast, because it can, for the same reason. You can either run it up the middle, see where 64 is, or that dude Jarvis Harrison, or you can bounce it out to the outside. And it's always good to bounce out, so see, there's nothing on the outside, so I just ran it up the middle for a first down. As for long passes, I'm not gonna lie, Hail Mary is pretty good. Just cause, uh, chucking it up. It gets intercepted a lot, so would not recommend it, but <laughs> just for fun. But in all honesty, strong one spacing is definitely good for short yardage situations. I know it's second and 10, but if you need short yardage, strong one spacing is your go-to play. Because it'll pretty much get five yards at least every time. Let's see. Play action passes. I would recommend... Uh, oh, no. I would recommend FL Drag. Or Spread FL Drag. If you like drag routes. Like, see, voice across the middle. Oh, I clicked the front guy. My bad. I clicked the first time. Alright, so we'll go back to run plays. We'll run our bread and butter HP1 Blast. So, no, nothing's in the middle, I'm just gonna bounce it to the outside, and I'll get like 6 yards. HP slant 1B is also good, but you don't have to recognize that this is pretty much you have to go to the outside. Just the way it's designed, I cut back into the middle, but it's designed for you to run into the outside. Do not, okay, so HP counter, I would not recommend that just because she'll show you. Like, look where they release it. Like, see, he releases it so close to the line to where once you get into higher levels, it's not really just going to be, like, the defense is going to penetrate and you're just going to get stuffed. So, we're at the four-yard line, strong one spacing, and look at that Atkinson, the third is wide open, beat him to the corner, touchdown. Now, if you've already run strong one HV blast, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend running it again. I would do week one HP gut if you haven't run that. And ah, uh, it was countered. So that means that in his game plan, yeah, counter chance. In his game plan, it was just countered. So we got him lucky there, but that's cool. Got some nice 300 fans. So that's head to head in a nutshell. Also, a decent plus to staying at a low overall is that you're only going to get matched with people your overall. So I'm still only matched with like 57, which is nice. So that's all there is for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, drop a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and join the MAG squad. And I'll see you guys next video.